Welcome to the Visual Distortion Movie Review Show with me, Jekyll69. On today's programme, we'll be reviewing the film Big Hero 6. Fighters ready. Two bots enter. One bot leaves. are flooding in about a major catastrophe. We're under attack from a super villain. Now cool! I would like to help. Stay back! Ah. I am not fast. No kidding! Ah. My brother built Baymax to help people. Hello. It works! Oh, this is amazing! Have a lollipop. Sweet! We can't go against that guy! We're nerds! <laughs> we can be way more. Whoa! Why is Baymax wearing carbon fiber underpants? This may undermine my non-threatening, huggable design. Anybody else's suit riding up on him? We could be Terrified of heights? I'd probably love this, but I'm terrified of heights, so I don't love it. Starring Scott Atsit as Baymax, Ryan Potter as Hiro, Daniel Henney as Tadashi, TJ Miller as Fred, Jamie Chung as Gogo, Damon Wayans Jr. as Wasabi, Genesis Rodriguez as Honey Lemon, Alan Tudyk as Alistair Cree, Mayor Rudolph as Cass. Now I was a bit dubious about this film at first because it was brought to you by the people who did Frozen and from the Disney Studios. But it is a fantastic film. My interest instantly perked up when I realised it was created by Man of Action, the same dude who came up with Ben 10 and was originally released through Marvel. So it is part of the Marvel Universe in a roundabout kind of way. The storyline is spot on, they take some of the majorly loved storylines that everybody goes to a hero movie to see and gives it a twist instead of the young kid turning into a superhero because of a mentor, he creates the hero league that he is part of and he is the mentor, he brings everyone together, the people who you think are the bad guys and the people you think are the good guys are all turned on their head and twisted around. In the universe they create for this strange, bizarre animation somehow seems to work. They've taken San Francisco and Tokyo City and meshed to do together to make San Fran Tokyo, I believe it's called. And they mesh it together really well. You've got all the technology and all the bizarre architecture and weird lights that you'd expect from Tokyo City, but on the geological hills and area of San Francisco with everybody that's normal and average kind of living in a normal house that you would find in San Francisco. So they blended the two together really well. And the voice acting in it is spot on. They have some really good voice actors in there. I was surprised to see Damien Wayne from Happy Endings and New Girl in there. It took me a while to figure it out that it was him doing the voice, which I was glad of, because there's nothing worse than to hear a famous actor's voice come out of a cartoon character sometimes, because all you can see is their face rather than this 3D animated character on the screen. Well, that doesn't happen in this at all, and the animation and the cartoon style of it really reminds you of Robot Boy. You know, it has the same kind of feel to it. It's like watching 
a Robot Boy film, but being absolutely nothing like Robot Boy because it's about a kid that has somehow kind of adopted this huge white marshmallow robot healthcare assistant, but without the whole tone. It brings them all together to make this super lean hero fighting machine with his mates who of course have no idea how to fight, they don't go out of training but they do have the knowledge, the skills and the know-how and the fact that they've tested most of their weapons but in different forms mean that they can get there quickly and they do. This is a very fast quick paced film that lasts a decent hour and a half but it doesn't rush through it and it doesn't get boring at any point and it doesn't feel like they missed any major parts out, it doesn't feel like they skip any areas. The film just kind of unfolds naturally and feels smooth whilst you watch it. It's definitely one of those children's films that you wouldn't be gutted if they made a second one of. In fact, it was one of the few films that I actually wanted to go back and see again instantly. This is definitely a four out of five film. I mean, it's just so good. It is surprisingly good. It really is. And the best part is, is the fact that it's from Marvel means that Stan Lee is in it. You have to keep your eye out for it, but Stan Lee is definitely in there. I mean, when you say keep your eye out, I mean, you've probably got to write that, just pop it out. Just, you know, what else you'll miss him? You will miss him, but Stan Lee is in Big Hero 6. This has been the Visual Distortion Movie Review Show with me, Jekyll69, for the film Big Hero 6. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to check out the rest of my videos and to like and share. Until next time, take care and keep smiling. This is the Jekyll69 channel where interesting shit happens every day. So remember to subscribe and comment to our channel for interesting shit to do with the world of technology. Hits on Twitter, film reviews, my life with Android and Kickstarter. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and comment. And until next time, keep your shit interesting.